These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark Z via PDK comment. Goomer, uh, Guru Nader said, corruption slowed down RV, IQD, no budget, no HCL. Mark Z says, remember, these are the same stories we saw before the IRV in Kuwait. The same stories we saw in China. The same stories we historically see before any revaluation of any currency in the last 100 years. Could it be a little longer? It could, but I don't think so. They are desperate and need the rate. Mark Z via PDK question. We have never seen an RV, so how do we know what to expect? We have seen RVs. Uh, we may not have seen a worldwide event, but there have been many RVs. We saw one in China in the 90s. We saw Kuwait go through one in 1991. In the 1970s, we saw Iraq go through one. After World War II, we saw Japan go through this. We have seen Germany go through this twice. Once after World War I, once after World War II. This is not unprecedented. Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the ground report, Firefly. Friend from the bank said, this is what I heard through the rumor mill. There will be another push. It will be the final push roundup of the heads of corruption coming very soon. They are looking for a blend of the budget and money flow after this final push. This is just from the rumors. All right, Militiaman article, quote, the Parliamentary Economic Committee stands with the government and the central bank in fighting speculators at the exchange rate. Militiaman says everybody's in agreement. We need to fight this parallel market. We need to shut it down. Again, what is the easiest way to shut it down? Change the exchange rates to a real effective exchange rate shuts it down. In a broad sense, that's what they're actually saying without saying it. Walking Stick says there is no issue with the HCL and the Kurds in Baghdad. In our opinion, the budget equals the HCL and the HCL equals the new exchange rate. Nader from the Middies says they need to find at least 80% of the money and get it back from them. The corrupt politicians and mafia back for them to revalue the dinar. Frank 26 article quote, the Iraqi dinar has been in an un and an viable situation for nearly 20 years after one dinar was equal to three and a half dollars. Why are they doing this? We told you years ago when the second article from the CBI comes to the citizens, they would explain to them in detail the history of their currency. They would explain the exchange rates, the currencies around them, and you are seeing this. Three dollars, 21 cents. Why are they bringing this up to their memory psyche? To educate them. That's what we told you. Mark Z says, I have not heard anything negative. A lot of projects are being funded. We know now that money is moving. They have to get a rate change at any moment. Militia Man, financial systems are in place that have been updated, modified. Now they're waiting for Iraq to be ready to go to the global financial system. Once they get to that stage, they're going to be an article 8 IMF compliant currency. That's our expectation. That's what they've been saying for quite some time. All right. A Norse says there is no such thing as an RV. That's the bottom line right there. There's a float leading to growth. We can hope that it will grow fast. I suspect there certainly isn't going to go from $16.01 to $3.50 overnight. It just can't happen. All right. Breitling question. What makes you think they were going to revalue their currency? Breitling says they were depending on going international, and that's provided for the big boys, China, United States, Western Europe. That's still their plan. They've never changed it. Frank 26, Iraq Boots on the Ground Report, Firefly TV, saying battle of the stability of the exchange rate will end soon with the recovery of the dinar. Frank says this is amazing. I will admit it's been a battle to stabilize the exchange rate and a, prob a program rate is not stable. Program rate has no equilibrium. CBI is about to decrease the value of the American dollar in your country. These are indeed very exciting times. Militia Man says if they haven't gone to the international stage of 1310 and they haven't done it today, the chances of them doing it are highly unlikely until the, um, uh, highly unlikely the international world wouldn't accept Iraq at 1310. Lastly, Mark Z via P2K, it's exceptionally quiet on the RV front. A lot of them say things appear to be on schedule, but nothing more than that. We have the Iraq budget scheduled to release on the 20th. Question, I wonder, are we going to see something this month or going into next month? 
Mark Z says, I very much think we will see it this month. 